Engineering Newswire, we're etching comics on human hairs, building wings with snakes, and cutting the PD&D logo on a desktop CNC. Thanks to a snake-like robot produced by the Fraunhofer Institute for Machine Tools and Forming Technology, IWU, automated aircraft wing assembly may be in the near future. Until now, aircraft assembly has involved a high proportion of manual processes, which limits production output. These processes must be automated to increase the rate of production. In certain cases, this can be achieved easily, but wing assembly remains a major challenge. The complicated internal structure of the wings consists of a series of hollow chambers with the only access being through narrow hatches with a length of 45 centimeters and a width of 25 centimeters. It is extremely difficult for assembly workers to climb through these openings in order to fit the bolts that hold the parts together and seal the joints. This drilling and sealing operation has to be repeated around 3,000 times for each wing box. That's a lot of times. This is time-consuming work that demands intensive physical effort that quickly leads to fatigue, not to mention the health risks resulting from the volatile organic compounds released by the sealing materials. According to Fraunhofer, the robot is equipped with articulated arms consisting of eight series connected elements which allow them to be rotated or inclined within a very narrow radius in order to reach the furthest extremities of the wing box cavities. The kinematics used to drive the robot are based on a sophisticated mechanism including an innovative gear system and a small motor is integrated in each of the eight sections of the robot arm which together are capable of generating a torque of up to 500 newton meters. Used in conjunction with a cord and spindle drive system, each section of the robot arm can be moved independently and turned through an angle of up to 90 degrees. The world's smallest comic strip is not my story. The world's smallest comic strip was recently etched into a human hair. Hoping to show what microfabrication makes possible, the team chose hair as their medium because it's something everyone can relate to. Although the hair did prove to be difficult to work with. Because it's a good electrical insulator, the hair retained an electric charge that deflected the ion beam and made etching impossible. To solve this issue, the hair was coated with a fine conductive layer of metal. The comic is titled Juana Knits the Planet, and the video is set to a lullaby. The etching itself took less than two hours using a focused ion beam machine. And while the machines aren't new themselves, technological advances such as high vacuum technology, ion optics, and liquid metal ion sources were needed in order for this tiny comic to come to life. 3D printing certainly seems to be the wave of the future, but sometimes CNC milling is the only way to get precision and rigidity without forking over every dime you have. Now, the Nomad CNC mill has taken Kickstarter by storm. With successful funding in less than 15 hours, this little CNC machine has clearly given its additive manufacturing rivals a run for their money. This mill gives engineers and hobbyists, or PD&D editors, the opportunity to mill components on their desktops. Though the Nomad is strictly a desktop CNC, meaning there's no coolant and the max tool size is a quarter inch, it can handle soft metals and composites, and it can mill everything from aluminum to wood faster than its bigger counterparts. With over 10 months invested in design and engineering, and the capacity to produce about 50 machines a month, the Nomad's creators are prepared for the onslaught of demand that is sure to ensue once their funding period is complete. Do you have story ideas? Comment below and we'll cover them in an upcoming episode. For the PD&D channel, I'm Megan Zimba and this has been your Engineering Newswire.